Good morning. I know. What a sight. Welcome back to a new vlog. You are witnessing my second attempt at a heatless curl. Let's see how this went. My day fully rides on whether this went okay, so keep me in your thoughts. Oh, I can do it like this, can't I? I am stressing. We have got to leave for the airport very soon and I have decided that I want to put makeup on. People may wonder why I do this and it's actually because I have to put SPF on anyway so I just do a little bit of like brows, lip liner, that kind of thing. Is this gonna work? Ooh. It just seems to make sense whilst I'm here. Wow! I look like a founding father of America. This is definitely coming with me to Ibiza. We're gonna test out how this works in a warmer climax. I am just, I'm intrigued. I need to research. We're just gonna leave this to drop and I'm uh, do we oh my god I don't know if I can actually credibly like sit here and talk to you like this I mean I did in the last vlog <laughs> no <laughs> no I'm not okay for what is happening now. why is it going ring litty this didn't this didn't happen yesterday oh my god I'm going to the airport looking like a poodle great we have half an hour and in that half an hour I actually also need to take up the trousers that I am wearing to the airport because they are a little bit long just me casually putting my deodorant on on camera we're in that kind of phase of life right now where I'm I'm not able to do the ah oh, cutesy make everything pretty and slightly unrealistic like this is a real get ready with me where we take deep breaths and we just hope for the best so if you watched the last vlog you already know what i was up to yesterday but if you haven't i will recap you i was on a shoot i literally got back off of my shoot in london last what am i doing why am i about to put my sp off on with a brush wow got back about eight ate my dinner showered all of that stuff then had to pack yet another case like i had come back from london with a case full of dresses and some of the things in that case i also really need for this trip so it wasn't just a case of having two separate suitcases packed i had to unpack one and pack another and then as i was checking in for my flight at the last dying second because obviously i forgot to do it when we were eating lunch on the shoot i realized not only are we at the back of the plane because we were the last we are literally seats 30a and 30b not only are we at the back of the plane we actually didn't have capacity to add on checked luggage which is what i was banking on so this has been a fun few hours with me experimenting in how on earth i take like i need to be doing things in ibiza this isn't just a go and lay on a beach for a few days it's you because we're going to view our wedding venue for the first time the wedding venue that we have booked yes deep breaths everybody i'm nervous i'm nervous i need to look nice for that because it's not just like a quick venue visit it's like a whole shebang side note i will show you as much of this as i physically can but i also don't want to ruin the magic for our big day but yeah so we are doing a fun little experiment of hand luggage only but when we actually have to like look nice for a thing so it's been an interesting morning i've changed the outfit that i'm wearing for the airport about seven times trying to make your airport outfit actually match up with like things that you will need on the trip and like making whole outfits that include pieces of the airport outfit is just a mental capacity that i do not have right now oh my god i'm also just putting my liquids in the wrong bag i'm not gonna make it through security am i also this is not giving a regular size clear bag if i make it through with this i will actually be shocked right bronzer oh, how does this get so messy but anyway my stress aside we are going to view a wedding venue new how fun is that like i've never obviously never done this before like this is a whole new thing by the way sorry if i'm talking really fast i am very excited and this tends to happen if i am actually it's rare it's a rare occasion when i actually get excited but it does happen sometimes and i tend to talk quite fast i keep having to remind myself to like breathe and like let this week sink in and like soak it all in because i did say this in the last vlog i think but it's just been such a fun week like a shoot that i with a brand that i have been wanting to work with for such a long time working on a project that i have always wanted to work on it's just so fun and i have been really trying like not to be super stressed and just enjoy even when it's like crazy and chaotic just enjoy it so like last night i was like okay fun new challenge unlocked but yeah i'm sure you've all guessed by now if you haven't heard the few times that i have actually referenced it accidentally many times over the last four months we are getting married in ibiza so fun yeah i actually was gonna try and keep it a secret and then it just kept slipping out so <laughs> genuinely it just kept slipping out also i cannot wait to show you how i am planning on getting my matcha situation over to ibiza and luggage only some of you are going to think i'm insane and that's okay nothing like last minute changes to the makeup bag but i'm gonna pack this one this is from armani it's one of the new ones that launched last year in the shade 52 it's a very 
luminous blue toned pink which I, i'm kind of wondering if this is gonna work now that i have started applying it to my face but i'm gonna trust the process oh, actually no i like that it's very pigmented we don't need a lot but that's kind of perfect like that's what i've been feeling like is missing in my makeup bag the last week not me just painting that giant spot on my face pink also you guys look at this tiny <laughs> charlotte tilbury magic serum i found this in my stash perfect 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 because i actually haven't got a serum that is travel size so you know what gets me most about hand luggage only the lack of fragrance i find it very upsetting that i can't throw every fragrance that i own into my suitcase do you know what this has actually been my savior in life for hand luggage only get yourself it doesn't need to be charlotte tilbury it doesn't need to be fancy but get yourself like an all-in-one face palette even if it's one of those create your own because they are so good obviously like this doesn't count towards your liquids but it's basically a whole like makeup look in one it's so good a bit of bronzer on the eye right we need to be wrapped let's do this mascara I always do this with this mascara. I always stab myself in the eye. What is wrong with me? You guys, I have not checked in because I've been stressed. Number one, my trousers broke. The drawstring broke. It was bad. And then I also realized I couldn't find my passport. So yeah, my trousers may fall down in the airport and I may flash everyone. <laughs> not again. Oh, it also looked like a poodle because my curls will not drop. Are they dropping? I think they drop maybe a little bit. It's not a look. Teamed with my glasses. I don't feel hot right now. By the time we get there, I'll jump out and perfect. I hope so. Or they'll just go really frizzy and it will be disaster. So the moral of the story this morning is when we are back from Ibiza, I need to sort my life out. I need to clean my house so that I can find things because could I find a comb for my girls? No. Could I find my passport? No. I did actually find a few things I've been looking for though as I found my passport, like they were all together. Yes, yeah, so we're getting our shoes together when we get back because I can't live like this anymore. I don't want to be a last minute girly, fixing my trousers last minute, worrying about my curls, packing hand luggage only because I checked in too late. So I'm going to get my life together. You heard it here first. Another news, are you excited to go to our venue and eat food? Always. Are you nervous? Food? I'm there. Are you nervous about the fact that we've booked a venue and we've not seen it? Mm, uh, I wasn't until you said that. <laughs> 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 it's all I think it about. It's nice on Instagram, and that's trusted, right? In Instagram, we trust. <laughs> <laughs> My nails are Joe in the Juice Pink. This is so cute. <laughs> Spicy tuna, it's the best one. It's nice to see palm trees. That was a bumpy flight, you guys. Still look like a poodle. A little bit less. It's dropped out. It's yeah. It, it's giving Ryan will actually stand near me now. <laughs> it's really fun doing this, knowing that the next time we do this drive, we'll be getting married. And we will have just landed for our wedding. We need a bigger cab. We need probably two cabs for all the suitcases and all the people's. So we're coming with Ryan's brother and his wife. We're flying out together. It'll be so nice. I'm just like already mentally enjoying that. We are all checked in. Just got ready to go out and have dinner and some drinks. It's a little bit chilly because it was raining earlier. So I've gone for a black t-shirt. My Levi's, these are like vintage jeans that have been cut into shorts. There's a few shops in Brighton that used to do it. I don't know if they still do. So I've had these since I was like 18, which is crazy. And then I've got my Urban Out, oh, focus please. Urban Outfitters cowboy boots, another pair, yes. It was a tough decision deciding whether to bring these or the red ones, but I feel like the tan is a nice, like neutral Ibiza vibe. I've then got my Dior saddle bag. I think I'm gonna take this denim jacket. The jacket covers the shorts perfectly, so it doesn't actually look to double denim -y at all. And it just goes so nicely with the boots. I'm really happy that I brought these. They took up basically all the space in my case, but it was worth it. You're gonna see these a lot over the next 48 hours. Anyway, let's go get some drinks. Are you ready, sir? Yes. Let's go. You excited? Good sign number one, the area is very nice. Feels like I'm in LA. I like that a lot. It's got a lot warmer as well. I'm so happy about this because I was worried we were gonna be chilly. Oh my God. 
<laughs> you keep saying these things off camera and it's so funny. <laughs> Why do you not do this on She said, this is where we're getting married. <laughs> Hi, how are you? Yeah, nice to meet you. Tasting starting at two. I'll let you take oh it in for gosh. a few minutes then come and grab me when you're Amazing. ready. Thank All right, you. no worries. <gasps> Oh, here she goes. <laughs> you can't cry already. It's just better than I thought it was going to be. It is, isn't it? <laughs> Can I borrow a hoodie? <laughs> it's not a rag. <laughs> would you like some pomegranate carb or some water? Yes, would yeah. all of the above. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> Feel free to grab both. Thank you so much. much. Hey, my absolute pleasure. Um, do you want to pop to the table for you? Yeah, that would be amazing. Thank you so me. much. Chug, chug, chug. So this morning, right? put my contacts in purposely because I knew I was going to really want to see everything. It's worth it. Oh. It's Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> it's so nice. Wow. So this is a little starter. So we're doing like a full tasting of a lot of the food we're going to have. It's so fun. Wow. So our venue owner is also a chef. I've never felt so confident in the food for any party ever in my life. So good. Mm. These are vegan. These are so good. We're not having an all vegan wedding though. More of those, please. Mm. What was this, a tart? What'd you call me? Um, yeah, I mean, it's like caramelized onion, sun-dried tomato. I love a little mini burger. Mm. Mm. Are you waiting for me to try a tart? Yeah. Oh, bless you. The slowest eater in the world. It's not a bad life, is it? It's not a bad life. So that was a 10 out of 10. Yeah, Let's try the tart. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> yeah, mate. Yeah. Mm. Love a sundry. I don't even it's like tart. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> Too bad you're marrying one. No. Mm. So good. It's good. Mate. Sensational. I don't need to taste any more. We can go. I definitely want to taste. I feel confident. Tell us about the falafel. Very nice. <laughs> <laughs> I made falafel. It's delicious. I put mine straight in my mouth and I didn't vlog it at all. So Ryan had to do a takeover, which he was not prepared for. He was just like, mmm, yes, <laughs> delicious. <laughs> I didn't realise I was hosting this I cooking made falafel, show. Chickpeas, parsley, cumin run through. Did you, are, you actually, are you actually tasting those things? Wow. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we've got a little bruschetta. This looks so good. I'm trying to stop it, stop it falling off. This is your speciality, I feel like. Is it? Yeah, I feel like you always have tomato on toast. Yeah, true. This is so fun. No, it's, we basically get to try every kind of pig. Even the ones we're not having at our wedding. There's so much food. Is there a way that we can pretend to have a venue we're considering them and just want to do their taste menu? I feel like you probably have to pay some deposits. It's a very expensive way to try food. I mean, I think we've got the one anyway, to be fair. Mm. Are you mm. happy with my choice of venue? Our choice of venue? <laughs> yeah. Mm. I'm happy with your choice of venue for yeah. your wedding day. <laughs> Selection of our home-baked breads served with prawns, with garlic, and a little bit of chili. And then we've got roast Mediterranean veg, Amal Serrano, and Comte cheese. Enjoy. I've been craving prawns all day. Oh my god, it's a heart shape! That's so cute! Oh my god, she's outdone herself. <laughs> no, this is very me. I love this. Oh my god. We've got our own little vegan platter. What is this? Oh my god. Amazing. Romesco so sauce yeah. in one sweet potato yeah. burger and then it's the tofu so and mushroom and Thank you. Guys, <laughs> nice. I'm getting really yeah. full already. I need to pace myself. <laughs> that was so nice, wasn't it? It's so good. So <laughs> you go so shy every time I get the vlogging camera out. Yeah, <laughs> In your face. It was just so nice to meet everyone. Like, yeah, it was amazing. in person. We met our wedding planner, we met our venue owner. She's so good at like the food. Yeah, so nice to have someone that's like so passionate as well. Yeah, Brian's such a foodie and she is such a foodie. And I just, 
I was just like sat in the middle, like I go to the buffet and put everything on one plate. Like she literally, oh my God, you guys, to follow on from our chat in Marbella Mar about how do you behave at the buffet? She actually went, yeah, because you know, like when I'm at a buffet, I was like convinced she must have been watching the vlog because she went, yeah, because you know, when I'm at a buffet, I go and I get like my one thing, like my coffee and my croissant and then I finish and then I go back and I'll get another course and then I come back and then I'll go get an and I was like, what are the chances? That's the right way to do it though. <laughs> Everyone else was like, yeah, of course. And I was just like. <laughs> Someone was like, you can't have croissant and baked beans and bacon on the same plate. And you're just there, like. <laughs> yes, you can. You can. With fruit as well. <laughs> you two are a, a match made in heaven. It was great. It was just so nice. We got to go over decor a little bit, which I thought was really helpful just to like talk about it while you're there. This was the best thing, yes. like the best decision I think we've made Definitely. to go and see it in person. It's even better than I thought it was going to be. I got in there. Oh, you saw. I got in there and I was just crying. So. Yeah, it was stunning. Now I have very dry contacts, which is sad, but like I just kept crying. It was so good. Yeah, it was amazing. So good. It was also funny meeting like the other couples. I was like, I have to remind myself I can't make friends with them and invite them all to our wedding. <laughs> yeah, I kept but, thinking that. <laughs> I was like, no, don't make friends, don't make friends. It was really interesting to see all of the other couples that were getting married there as well. Even just to hear like what they were doing and like, yeah. how they were decorating it and what food options they were going for. So. Yeah. I was kind of trying, like, I was like, don't get swayed, don't get swayed by what other people are doing. Yeah, it was so nice. It was just, I don't know, it was just very cute. Also, just nice to, when you hear about what other people that are planning a wedding are, like, going through, and you're like, yes, hard relate, yeah. I understand. Okay, this is all normal. Yeah. <laughs> so many of your stories that you can tell that, like, you just can't tell to people that aren't planning a wedding because they won't, like, it, it, the drama doesn't hit the same, but you can tell someone that's planning a wedding and they're like, no. Stop. Yeah, it was great. Anyway, I need to go and lie down on a bed now because I'm so full. A lot of prosecco as well there, wasn't it? Oh my god, so much prosecco. I was de real hair of the dog though. I, you guys, I was so hungover this morning. I'm cured now, but I'm also so full. So we're not eating dinner until like 10 p.m. tonight. Oh, we need a nice lie down, maybe a lie in the sun. It was also really sh shielded from the wind. I actually didn't think it had a wet weather contingency plan, but it does. So basically, I am just a chilled. What? That is what it's. Is that not what it's called? I don't know. <laughs> I'm a very happy bride to be right now because I just feel like everything that I was slightly concerned about, like I have no concerns. Anyway, yeah, I'm just gonna go lie down for a bit now. Seen a bit. We are back at the hotel and I was about to change and I just realised I didn't show you what I wore for our venue visit. Cowboy boots, obviously, because it was really chilly this morning. Luckily, our venue was very shielded, so we didn't actually feel any of the wind, but I'm actually really glad that I did still wear these because I was nice and warm. And then I wore my COS waistcoat and then my Zara skirt, which I cannot wait to change out of because I'm so bloated i can't wait to be in something more comfortable so yeah i'm gonna change out of this now oh and i have my Mew Mew sunnies and yeah that's my outfit morning hi visa we are walking to breakfast it's not freezing today <laughs> Yay! oh my god you guys i'm so happy to not be wearing a jacket the wind has gone which i'm very happy about there's a, the first wedding of the year at our wedding venue today and i was worried for them but there must be a happy bride and groom waking up today looking outside being like oh I don't need to wear a jacket over my wedding dress. Yeah, we're on our way to We're gonna go to Skinny Kitchen. So. We haven't been in ages actually. Mm. Interested to see if they've changed the menu at all. I've got my matcha stuff in my bag though. Classic, just in case. They are the kind of place that would do a matcha, but I'm not 100%. So, you know, girls gotta be prepared. Got a late checkout today, which is lovely. We have an evening flight, so we're here until 7.30. What do you want to do? Swimming in the sea. It's a wild one, this one. Yeah, yeah. I don't know, we could go into Old Town maybe. Yeah, that would be cute. I think especially because it's not like outrageously hot, yeah. that would be quite nice. There's a lot of steps, you guys. Lots of steps, so I mean, I'm doing it and not sweating for once, not getting blisters. Because by the way, these cowboy boots are so comfy, I will link them. I'm obsessed with them. We're approaching the hill, but I've never not got grumpy walking up. Every time we come to breakfast, I question why we take this route to walk up this hill, <laughs> and it's like a sun trap, and it is so hot. I just don't talk now. <laughs> we, just, <laughs> we don't talk to each other until we're over the hill, and like sometimes I'll just be a bit like me, and then we get to the other side of the hill. And we go back to being normal. No, seriously, like you need to see. We're still, we're still going up it. Still going. 
<laughs> probably just to get in the gym to be fair. Yeah, I really do. I'm getting back on my fitness when I get home. <laughs> Mew. Mew. Oh, I speak cat. Wow, he understands me. And normal behaviour can resume. It's all downhill from here. Mmm, <laughs> what are we having? Oh, fish tacos. Yum. Mmm, pancakes. French toast. Yum. We secured a matcha. Taste test. That's the verdict. Oh no, it's not a good face. Do I save this by using my matcha that's in my bag and my syrup? Do we think we can save this? Okay, I've added a little bit of syrup. This is actually a spare bottle that I kept at home and I decanted my syrup into it so that we could bring it in our hand luggage in the liquids because that's the level of crazy that I've got to now. And I also just added an extra spoonful of my matcha into this because the other one was no bueno. Mmm, can I pinch one? Yeah. Me, hey, what's yours is mine, honey. What I literally say all the time now. <laughs> It seems to be on your neck and my stuff. Mm -mm. I'm joking. I definitely said it the other way around the other day. Every time we come to Old Town, I pick these up. My dream is to have an excuse to buy one of these tiny tops one day. How cute! The little dresses. Like, look! <laughs> so small. Tiny dungarees. <laughs> Going in for round two. This is my second portion of tacos. Good morning. I am back home. Our flight home was. Oh my god, my top is already falling down. Our flight was so delayed coming home. I feel like that is always the way whenever we go to Ibiza, the flights are always delayed. To the point where I actually had time to shop. So I thought before I ended this vlog, I would show you what I got in the airport. I actually never bought sunglasses in Ibiza airport before, but I saw these and I just, I was just trying them on because I was bored, but I actually just ended up loving so many pairs in there. So I already have a pair of Mew Mew sunglasses and I am obsessed with them. Actually, are they around here? I think they're downstairs. I have my pair that you will have seen earlier in the vlog. I love them. They also do this pair in a darker shade, which I thought about buying a lot. And I loved those when I was trying them on as well, but I do feel like I have enough sunglasses that are similar. So I decided to get these Mew Mew sunnies, but in a more fun colorway. Let me show you. Oh my god. I actually haven't worn these since we landed so I'm very excited. I mean let's hope I like them now. There's no going back. I just think they are so cool. So they're like a clear frame. They're like a clear gold. It's kind of like a yellowy clear gold kind of tone and then we've got the Mew Mew in gold on the side. I think they're so cool. They do them like I said in this darker frame as well which is just so nice and so great for every day but these I just thought would be so cool for the summer. I really like them. I have actually tried Chanel have a pair that are similar to my black sunglasses. Well they're the same. My black rectangular sunglasses they do those in like a clear bit. It's more of a pinky tone and I really liked those but they there was something about them that just wasn't right whereas these I think they're kind of similar but they've got the cat eye shape to them and I just love them. I just love them. I think they're so bougie, it's so summery, it's so perfect for like when you're chilling around the pool. So that was a very expensive airport trip. I do feel like these cost slightly less though because I bought them in euros. Does that, is that right? When it came through on my bank it just looked like I'd spent less money than I would have in the UK. So I'm gonna take that. But yeah, new sunnies, love them. Can't wait to take them back to Ibiza very soon. I have actually already started packing for my next Ibiza trip, which is coming so, so soon. I actually really need to prep for that this week. So there may be more on that to come. You're gonna be so sick of me by the time May is out. Apologies in advance if you're not here for the Ibiza content. Ibiza, Ibiza. Ibiza. The people in the comments that bully me over the way I say Ibiza, which is very normal if you are British, I will make it worse if you're not careful. So stop bullying me for the way I say Ibiza because it's very Ibiza when you're British, very normal. It's weird when you're British, I think, to say Ibiza, but that's so wrong. Like people in the UK will be like, please stop. Because I'm not, I'm not Spanish. Genetically, yes. In spirit, yes. Verbally, no. 
So please don't bully me or I will start calling it beefer, which makes me want to die, but I will get more annoying the more I'm bullied. So but yeah, thank you so much for coming along with me on this week's vlog. I really hope you enjoyed it. I really, I wanted to show so much more. Like I vlogged so much, but I love when I am like in the run up to watching someone's wedding and I know nothing. Like I don't know what it's gonna look like. I don't know what the dresses are gonna look like. Obviously, you know, you know a little bit, but like I, I love being surprised when I look at someone's wedding content. But there's so many girls that I know that are getting married this year. I don't know, like I know roughly where they're getting married, but I don't know what they're wearing. I know, know literally nothing. And it's so nice, like that surprise element when you like eventually see people's wedding photos. Like I just love that so much. Like I am not even actually showing my friends and family. Like people keep asking for the footage of the wedding venue and I'm not showing them because I just think it looked so much better in real life that I want all of our guests to see it with their own eyes for the first time so yeah I'm not I'm really I'm actually not showing anyone the only person I've showed is my my dad and part and parcel my mum because obviously she just you can't keep secrets from that woman but my dad obviously will be walking down the aisle with me so I want him to like kind of know what to expect because I cried seeing it all for the first time so and my dad I don't actually know which way he will emotionally go so and I, he's very similar to me so I kind of wanted to prep him in advance should I prep the bridesmaids I kind of don't want to I like want I really want people to be wowed by it and I honestly just think it's even better in real life than it is in photos so yeah that is my reasoning for kind of not showing you guys anymore i just think it's partly for you partly because i also don't want to spoil it for my guests as well because i know they all watch all of the wedding content but i am so happy and so relieved like there was just so many things like they even made tweaks over the winter that have made the venue a thousand times better than i ever expected it to be so i was just so grateful so happy so over the moon with everything the food was incredible like just it's made me so like now when people are like are you excited for your wedding like before i was kind of like yeah yeah i'm excited and there's like a thousand worries going through my brain now i'm just like yeah can't wait get me there i'm worried about literally nothing i am just so happy and excited so yeah i feel really really good now anyway i am gonna stop waffling because i've been talking for eight minutes but i hope you enjoyed the vlog and i will see you guys again very very soon love you bye